Since it was recently your anniversary, what's the best anniversary gift or celebration you've ever given Melissa? Okay, uh, on our anniversary, uh, sh in one of our movies, we were working and she was making out with a very uh, good looking uh, younger guy. And I said, hey, uh, probably, and I felt terrible about it, but I was like, she should probably grab his butt. It's, I think. And that's happy nice. anniversary, honey. That is a nice gift. What's your love language and does it match Melissa's? Like act of service, physical touch, words of affirmation. I, I I probably like try to do st that's the that's sir, acts of service, service. right? Yeah, I'm, nice. I'm, I'm a service guy. Well, I mean, I wonder if laughter's on that list because I oh would think God, that yes. was yeah. What's the best part of working with Melissa on a project like the podcast, which was just picked up for a second? It was I mean, just guys. picked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, probably just her relentless, uh, insane amount of creativity. Ah, oh, that's yeah. nice. Always doing new stuff. Oh my gosh. Uh, Biggest fire-breathing dragon you two have had to defeat together? Oh, back, COVID was no fun, and so we went through that. Right. Um, favorite part about share, oh no, this is the last question. What do you feel is the key to a long-lasting relationship? You know, uh, I think, you know, people say don't go to bed mad. Mm -hmm. I say, it, go to bed mad, it's fine. <laughs> If you go to bed mad, do you typically wake up mad? You forget what the hell you were fighting about in the first place. I guarantee it works, I promise. Okay. It's like... And we don't, that happens almost Almost never. never right. But, but yeah, I'm always like, should we talk? Right. Like, it, it really And then it's like, rare. you know, you're like, we're going to figure it out at 2.15 after I've had three cocktails. It's like, right. no. That's not happening. No. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, Yay! sir.